Amanda Nunes at the top of the marquee for UFC 289. Of course, before that, we'll see Oliveira versus Dariush. Guys, Ige versus Landwehr is going to be fun, and uh, we get it going with Mark andre Barrio versus Eric Anders. It's going to be a lot of fun on this card. But, Sugar, we got to talk about this main event because, listen, Aldana has some skills. She could definitely give Amanda a test. Oh, boy, the fight god serves us up something <laughs> nasty with this one. Listen, I'm telling you, this was not her original opponent, but, listen, it's everything going to make it for a beautiful matchup. Nunes has We've seen her struggle. She's been dominated for so long. But it's when she has struggled, she's come back and looked in excellent top form. When she came back and regained her title, see, that was her real y'all must have forgot moment and showed everybody that she is not one to sleep on. But Aldana is something that has been growing into herself. She's got a nasty left hook. She hits hard. She's vicious. And she's very confident. This is going to be a fight that you must watch. But, Dean, what about Amanda's mindset this these days? You know, the problem was when Amanda fought Juliana Pena, she wasn't in the right mental space, and she wasn't in the right place in her life. But now she is. She, she left her team. She moved everything to really be around her. So she's got everything around her. Now she's in a good place mentally, physically. I expect her to go out on top if she's, if she's planning on going out ever. All right. And, Rashad, you mentioned the MMA gods, but, Dean, what about this one? Charles Oliveira versus Benil Dariush. Just take all the money now. <laughs> and I'm telling you, for <laughs> Benil Dariush, this is exactly what he wanted. This is the moment that he's been waiting for for the longest time. He, and he deserves this because you got to feel bad for Dariush. Dariush has done everything. everything. He's beaten everybody in front of him. He was on a run. And then they just kind of... Kept passing him up, kept passing him up, kept passing him up. Now, finally, he's got the opportunity to fight the most dangerous submission guy the UFC has ever seen, Charles Oliveira, a guy who's been around for a while, a guy who's had the gold. And this is a perfect fight to show is Benil Darius championship material. We don't know if he's championship material. He's going to have to beat Charles Oliveira. And if he can beat Charles Oliveira, they say, you know what? Maybe he can then fight for a title. But listen, he's going to be in a, it's going to be a tough fight between these guys. Eight win streak. Benny is amazing. Listen, these are two of the greatest to ever do it. This is going to be a jiu-jitsu showdown. It will be phenomenal. Okay, that does bring us to our DraftKings Sportsbook predictions. Two questions for these gentlemen. Uh, first and foremost, who is most likely to break uh, Charles Oliveira's submission record, Rashad? Of course, that, that is currently at 16. I'm going to go with Mackenzie Dern on this one. I think that, you know, she's just catching her uh, groove right now, and I feel like she's getting better with her stand-up, which is going to make up, uh, make it so she's able to open up in her other game, which is her submission game, and I think she may catch him. How could you not <laughs> go with Jillian Robertson? Jillian Robertson leads the women right now in submissions, and she, for me, we still working on it, and we are chasing. We are chasing, Charles Oliver. We are coming for you. We're coming to get that record. <laughs> well, the Savage could get there, too, because she fights so frequently. I love it. All right, second question. Um, if Aldana wins, Mexico will have created four champions, right? So um, what's the next country that currently doesn't have a champion that will get one, and who's going to help get them there? I got to say Shavkat, Rachmanov, and uh, Kazakhstan. I, I think that, you know, Shavkat is absolutely amazing. Watching him out on Kill Cliff and watching his development, this guy has something for you. But uh, listen, that whole region is tough. If, if there's a guy who can do it, it's got to be Ilya Tapuria. Okay. And he's representing two different countries, yeah, Spain yeah. and Georgia. Yeah. So he could put both of those countries on the map if he can get that title. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.